What is up guys, Mr. Who's the Boss here, and this is Knights and Dragons, a free RPG that you can get on Android and iOS devices. So to begin with, this is a game with a lot of different aspects to it. Your main sort of objective is to just get your village as powerful as possible, but at the same time you'll be progressing through a story mode, enhancing your character and competing with friends. Your upgraded buildings will be able to do anything from creating new armour, to producing money, to fusing armour, to summoning monsters, and there's just tons of stuff here. There are a lot of different arenas to actually battle in, and as you complete an arena on five different difficulty modes, you'll then progress and unlock the next one. Now the combat in this game is fairly basic, you basically just load it up and it, everything will happen for you. Having said that though, this is not the main element of the game, the combat is merely a platform to be able to use your armour and weapons. The real excitement here comes from collecting, upgrading and looting. So every single time you kill an enemy, it'll actually drop items, and the actual rarity of these items depends on how you kill it. For example, if you use a special attack to finish off an enemy, chances are you'll actually get a rarer item. This works especially well with boss monsters and you can get some really nice stuff. And the whole point of this game is that it's all about the collecting, so you collect stuff, you build stronger armours, you kill a earth serpent, you can build an earth armour, that kind of thing. And as you progress through the game, you face tougher and tougher enemies, I mean the, the actual difficulty curve is almost exponential, it really is quite a challenging game as you get up there. So another element to this game is chests. Every now and again if you kill a boss monster and you get a little bit lucky, they'll drop a key. Alternatively, you can pay gemstones and open a chest, and the idea is you can just get a random piece of loot from it, so it could be an armour, it could be a piece of equipment, and this is just pretty exciting, it does help to spice things up. You know, sometimes you feel nothing's really going for you in the game, and you just want a bit of excitement, then you open a loot chest. Now there are lots of different elements in this game, there's water, earth, fire, amongst many others, and this is another factor to consider, because obviously there are weaknesses and resistances. So for example, if you wear a fire armour against some water monsters, you're going to be at a slight disadvantage. And this all adds just another layer of strategy to the experience, it really isn't as simple as it initially seems. Now one of the main things people will probably end up doing on this game is joining a guild. Now joining a guild allows you to team up with other people and hunt down monsters together. So if you can get your friends to play this game, even better, the experience, you know, the fun you have will be doubled, tripled. A bit like Monster Hunter, it's a very similar experience to that. Perhaps a bit simplified when compared to it, but then again this has a lot of stuff that that doesn't. For example, you can fuse things like armour together to actually enhance the capabilities of it. You can add elemental traits, you can increase the damage protection, you can increase the actual attack power. It really is quite a cool thing to do. Now the game itself is seriously, seriously long. There is a lot to it. So, I mean, having played several hours now, I've barely scratched the surface of what's here on offer. You'll notice that the graphics and art style are rather impressive. I mean, it's all hand-drawn, and the animations are very fluid. It all runs at a nice 60 frames per second, and the whole thing is accompanied by a rather nice, not outstanding, but pleasant soundtrack, which just adds to the immersion. The music will turn up a notch when you're in an intense action sequence, and then will turn back to its sort of very casual, very relaxed tone when you're just browsing through menus, or that kind of thing. So this game being free does also have in-app purchases, and they work via gems. So whenever you build a new building or something, you have to wait a certain amount of time for it to be completed, and you can speed this up by using gems, but most of the time i found that the building time is so short that you simply can't wait. I mean, we're talking anywhere from about 30 seconds to a max of about 10 minutes for most buildings. So it really isn't too long to wait, and not really an issue at all. There's very little here that can't be obtained without spending a penny. Now I think Knights and Dragons is going to especially appeal to people who enjoyed the stat grinding aspect of games like Final Fantasy, Pokemon, Monster Hunter, all those style of games. The combat here is very simple, and so that's where the depth lies. Anyway guys, that's it from me, I hope you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more.